Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia Lee and I'm the author of a few books for young adults, the most recent being the cozy contemporary fantasy song, The Dryad. But today I am here to do another plan with me. I am planning for the month of July and more importantly, the month of Camp NaNoWriMo. This looks so sideways to me. I have been trying to get my setup set up for probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and it's driving me crazy. Not great, but oh well. Um, so I have my phone here and my camera over here and it's just been a tough go of it. So we're going to go ahead and plan for July slash Camp NaNoWriMo today. And I'm also going to be using these printables that I made for camp. Um, I did not print these on my sticker paper just because I printed them uh, like a couple weeks ago. I've had these for a couple weeks and I did not print them on sticker paper, but I have this. I got a refill for this guy here, this guy here. And it's just like a, a nice double-sided tape. So I'll just be using that to tape everything down. And all of these uh, printables, these Camp NaNoWriMo printables will be free on my Patreon. So even if you are not a patron of mine, you can jump on my Patreon and get these for Camp NaNoWriMo if you want them. My Patreon link will be in the description below. So we're just going to go ahead. So we're just gonna go at blah, 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 blah. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Let's get started. We are here. Okay, so um, I did ask for questions for this live stream if anybody had any. I'm sorry if this is slightly sideways. It's just what I'm dealing with today. So I did get a few questions that I will answer while I'm doing this. The first one is, congratulations on your new job. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us more about what you will be doing? So I don't wanna talk like a ton in depth about my new job because it is like personal, legal, like real life type stuff. And I don't wanna, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. Like I'm happy to talk about it and I wanna talk about it but I don't wanna give away too much information. Like I don't wanna give away exactly where I'm working or anything like that. Um, but I am working with a publishing company and I'm kind of like a project manager. Um, I essentially get teamed up with authors. I have like specific authors that I work with and I will work with those authors all the way through their publishing process. So I'm the one that finds out, you know, what interior design do you want? What cover do you want? What kind of editing do you want? You know, what size book do you want? How many books do you want to order? Do you want cream pages or white pages? Like I am the person that walks them through the entire process and I'm in contact with all the designers. I'm in contract with the cover designer. I'm in contract with the book designer. Like I'm in, in contact with all those people and it's my job to make sure that the author is happy and gets the product that they want. Um, I do have one author already that I am working with and it's been really nice so far. Um, I regularly have to go to my mentor for help because I don't know how to do everything, obviously, because when you first start a new job, you don't know how to do everything, uh, but it's been really nice. But yeah, you could essentially say that I am a uh, shoot. I'm kind of like a project manager for a publishing company. And that's not my actual title. Like I have an actual title, but I'm not even sure if I want to share that. I don't know. I guess I'm just feeling kind of like, um, private about it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. And I hope to get way, way, way more involved as I learn more things. We're off to a rocky start. My thing is already sideways. We're going to go ahead and number this right down the page. And hopefully I have enough space for it. We'll find out. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to film this video today because I have been so exhausted today, really, really tired. And I'm not usually like that. I usually have a ton of energy. Like I can just go and go and go and do all this stuff. But Greg and I have been doing pet sitting for two clients that both need us very early in the morning and very late at night um, because their pups don't have like doggy doors or anything. And last night I got 
six and a half hours of sleep and that is not enough for me at all whatsoever. I need nine hours to feel, yes babe. Now this thing that I just taped down, this July 2019, does not come with this printable set. That's a different printable set. That's my strawberry printable set and you can get that on my Patreon but that is under the dollar tier. So I'm also going to be using some printables by Abiding Kelsey Lee. She has these beautiful printables on her Patreon. So I will be using some of these. Um, I have some of these by her as well. And I thought that they just kind of went with the uh, Camp NaNoWriMo theme. So yeah, we're gonna be using all kinds of stuff today. Now there are some principles that come with this set that I won't necessarily be using today, but that you might be able to use. So some of those um, include like this principle for brainstorming, um, if you have your outline in your journal, if you're writing down uh, like plot points. Um, I will probably be using this, my plan. That's like going to be my plan for the month and how I plan to be successful. And then we also have basic um, like journal stuff. We have self-care uh, habits to do and goals. So what am I going to put over on this page? Oh, and again, here's another little printable by Kelsey Lee. I love her little printables. I've had these for a while. I just am like slowly going through all of them. I also have these little word count stickers that are pretty darn, or they're not stickers. They could be stickers if you printed them on sticker paper, but you know, I didn't today. Yeah, so today I will not be using the outline printable and I will not be using the plot printable because I'm not writing a new book for Camp Nano. I'm working on Pistol Daisy book two, so I don't need those. Um, brainstorm, not sure. These I will definitely be using on the next page somewhere. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and make this my plan page for Camp NaNoWriMo. And I'll answer my next question. Um, so the question is like, why did I start journaling in the first place and who were some like inspirations for me? So I started journaling just because watching bullet journal videos really made me feel like, oh my gosh, this could help me really get organized, organize my life, organize my mind. And on top of that, um, it was very artistic and I've always really enjoyed like artistic pursuits. So uh, I thought that that would be really good for me just with my personality. Are you working on yours too? What? I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like yet. Really? I made these little, like look, co it says coffee and I got like a coffee maker here and stuff. What does a spread mean? A spread like, um, like a July spread. So it's like all my July pages. So I'm setting up my July spread. So my like income tracker, finance tracker, monthly tracker, like stuff like that. For July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Today's kombucha, health aid bubbly rose. Very, very delicious and refreshing. Um, some inspiration for me. I watch so many bullet journalers. I watch, um, Bullet journalers, people that do like Erin Condren, Kiki K, Happy Planner. Like I watch all kinds of planner videos because they're all kind of inspiring for me. So for example, when I'm using like printables and stickers and stuff, I have a tendency to watch more of the like Erin Condren type planners because those people use more stickers typically than bullet journalers do. And of course for this month, I'm trying to go for a Camp NaNoWriMo color scheme, which is like blue, orange, yellowish, and green. This is kind of a uh, nano color. And if you are new to any of my bullet journaling videos, you'll probably find that I am pretty um, relaxed about it. Like I'm not, a perfectionist I used to be, but I'm not anymore because I just enjoy setting up my spreads and using them and they don't need to be perfect for that. If I seem quieter in this video than I usually am in my chatty bullet journal videos, it's just because um, I'm really, really exhausted today because I haven't been getting enough sleep because Greg and I have been doing a lot of pet care that requires us to be up very early 
and then out late at night because the pups don't have doggy doors or anything. So you have to be over there early in the morning and late at night to let them out to go potty. Um, but I like I'm today, I've been so exhausted. I don't ever feel like this. And for some reason today, like I was falling asleep in the car, it's hot out, I wanted to nap and I like, I never want to nap. So it was pretty weird for me. I feel like I should not have put that there. Can I pull that off? Nope, that's, that's there. That is, that is there. So that is staying right there. So this is going to be my Camp NaNoWriMo plan. I'm gonna come back to that. Um, I feel like this page needs some decor. I want to, I want to use one of these Kelsey Lee things. I feel like I should just go stop being lazy and get my scissors that are out there. So this little thing from uh, Kelsey Lee that says, just keep writing. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right on my plan page because that's one of the best plans you can have is just to keep on going. Um, so I mentioned this in my uh, tea time video where I kind of updated you guys on my plan for Camp Nano, but I'll say it again just for anybody that didn't hear it in that video. Uh, my plan for Camp Nano is to, I just taped this to my own table, is to um, edit Pistol Daisy book two. Wow, I'm having serious issues. Uh, so I'm working on the read through right now. I wanted the read through to be done by today, but we'll see. I might be able to finish it tonight. I'm a pretty quick reader, but I highly doubt it because I'm only on chapter six out of 18. So I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll see. But yeah, I plan to edit Pistol Daisy book two um, as soon as I finish my read through. And my hope is to do this full developmental edit and then, um, you know, in July and then in August to be able to move forward with potential beta stuff, maybe. We'll see. This is cute. Um, let's see. So I'm just going to kind of drop some things down that I think will be helpful for me during Camp Nano, like in terms of a plan. So one thing might be... Um, is hard to do based on where I'm sitting. Right every morning. Um, let's see. That one says take weekends off if needed because I'm trying to balance things a little bit more and I think having time off is super helpful because it's not realistic for me to write every single day because I just burn myself out doing that. But if I'm writing five days a week or six days a week or four days a week or you know, however much I can in the week, then that's good. That's good enough for me. Um, so take weekends off, write every morning if possible. Uh, let's see, listen to my soundtrack. I'm gonna kind of turn this different ways so that my writing will kind of be everywhere. Listen to my soundtrack. Um, we'll draw a little thing right next to this. So you might be able to tell just from watching me do this that I am very much like relaxed about my spreads anymore. Um, it just to me is way too stressful thinking that everything has to be perfect and everything has to look a certain way and I can't make a mistake with my pen. That's just not the way that I want to journal. That's not the way that I want to spend my time or organize my time. I want to just be free to write things wherever I want to and have a very like free form approach to my bullet journaling. Because when I first started, um, I fell into the camp that, of people that were like intimidated by bullet journaling and intimidated by having to write something on the page in pen. But now, don't even care. I don't even care. Um, and I wrote down to write every morning, or I guess edit every morning, because I just have more energy in the mornings. I'm more creative in the mornings. So that's the time of day that's best for me to be doing creative work. Um, and for this first round of edits, it'll definitely be creative work because I'm doing um, developmental edits. So I will be rewriting scenes, adding scenes, taking scenes out, and that is very much creative work versus like, um, you know, like the third round of edits or something, which is more... Oh, I hope I didn't just mess up her beautiful handwriting. I kind of did. Aw, this was so nice, and then I sketched over it. Oh, well. 
it still looks cute. Just keep writing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm much more creative in the morning. And this will definitely be a creative edit versus later on when I'm just doing like uh, line edits and such. That's good enough for now. Income, finances, savings. Let's go ahead and pop something down on this page, shall we? Um, and if any of you decide to grab these off of my Patreon, it would be awesome if you could take photos and send them to me or uh, tag me in them on Instagram so that I can see what you create with these. I am still kind of learning how to use stickers slash printables and like incorporate them into my bullet journal because this is pretty new to me. Like I'm just used to writing everything out by hand, but I'm really enjoying it. Okay, what's next? All right, let's go to the next question. Um, when does Pistol Daisy book one come out? That's another question I received. So the release date for Pistol Daisy book one depends very heavily on Pistol Daisy book two because um, I am going for a quick release schedule with these books. So I don't want to release Pistol Daisy book one too early and then not be able to follow it up immediately or like six weeks later with Pistol Daisy book two. So I'm not sure yet exactly when it is coming out. I, I'm kind of aiming for August, but I'm not sure of that. That might get pushed back to September. But as soon as I have a release date, you guys will be the first to know. I feel like this spread is a whole lot different than that previous spread I did, but oh well. Again, these are super cute, but I'm not really sure how to use them because you can't really write on them a whole lot. So you kind of have to put them in places where you're not planning on writing, you know? So wait, live stream on the first 17th? Hey Greg, I think I'm going to use these printables by Kelsey Lee and cut some of these out because these would be kind of perfect for Camp Nano. have a good time with this spread because I feel so kind of off today that I'm just going to slap stuff down wherever I want it to go and we're going to see how it looks. I think it'll still look pretty cute in the end. Um, yellow is one of the Camp NaNoWriMo colors so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight some stuff in yellow as well like my live streams that are coming up. Um, I have a live stream with Brooke and Mandy on oh, tomorrow uh, and I said 5 p.m. because I'm Mountain Standard Time but the way that we kind of advertise them is Central Standard Time, so it would be 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, or if you're in Mountain Time like I am, it's 5 p.m. So the one tomorrow um, on Monday will be on Brooke's channel, and then the 17th will be on my channel, and the 26th will be on Mandy's channel if you want to join us for some sprinting. And this is my income page. I never make enough income to fill out the entire page, so we're gonna decorate it with one of these. Um, another question I received was, what is Daisy's favorite color? Which is a really fun question. And Daisy hasn't like told me what her favorite color is, but I feel like it would be green, like a dark green or a, like a pale yellow, kind of like the color of wheat in the summer. Um, that's what I think her favorite color would be. And I say that I think it would be that color because I do feel like I don't have a whole lot of control over my characters. Um, they kind of tell me how it is and how they are, and they kind of um, explain themselves to me as I get to know them better. So I feel like one of those would probably be her favorite color, but I'm not sure because it hasn't really come up in the book yet. So Daisy has not had a chance to tell me what her favorite color is. So this next little one that I'm putting down says, your story is calling. So we all need a reminder of that sometimes to get back to it. All right, let's see what we can do with this page. So to do will be over here always. And if you're somebody that wants to use these printables, but you don't want to get like sticker paper or anything, I highly recommend getting some of this stuff. I just got mine at Hobby Lobby um, and it works so well and it's so easy. I love it. I'm really glad I finally got a refill because I hadn't been able to use it since like the end of October. 
maybe this will be, maybe I'll do like a water tracker and a food tracker behind these little guys. That'd be pretty cute. Yeah, that'd be super cute. Maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna go back to my planning page and I'm gonna put this little guy, this little bag of coffee, <laughs> because I decided to include that on the Camp NaNoWriMo printables and I'm going to put that on my plan page because I love having a cup of coffee and working on my books. So we're definitely gonna put that on here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I know. I'm gonna take this guy, he says, live stream and I'm gonna put him over here on Monday because I have a live stream at 5 p.m. on Monday, tomorrow. So it'll probably be passed, probably, by the time you're seeing this, but if not, it's Monday the 1st at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Brooke's channel. Oh, and I did, me I did mention in a previous plan with me um, that I was open to taking, um, why is it smearing like that? That's weird. I was open, open to taking requests and suggestions for different like sticker sets and printables and somebody requested foxes. So I think the next sticker set I do will be foxes. And I'm pretty excited about that. Probably over here for upcoming and then where'd my self care one go? There it is. Self care can go right there. That'd be cute. Let's do that. And we're gonna tape it again on the inside this is the way that I make my little, like, I don't know if they're called Dutch doors, maybe? This is how I make mine. So that they're held securely on both sides. So I have a little door that'll flip open, and this will be everything that's upcoming. Also, I had one more question that I wanted to answer, and the question was, uh, what is your favorite part of planning? Probably just how relaxing it is. Like, the reason that I sit down and give myself this time every week is because it grounds me, it centers me, it makes me feel like I'm prepared for what's coming up during the week because I have so much going on all the time that this is a really good opportunity for me to just sit down and kind of check in with what I'm doing. And it feels really nice to give myself the time to do that. So yeah, I'd say that that's definitely my favorite part of planning is just how therapeutic it is. Um, and to those of you out there who are planners, I'd love to know if you find it therapeutic as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because that's a big part of it for me. Like, when I had an agenda when I was in high school and stuff, that was not at all therapeutic. That was just me, like, trying to organize and keep track of my homework assignments and stuff. But this relaxes me so much. And then after I create a spread, it makes me feel good every time I look at it because I see how much work went into it, and that's really nice as well. Put a little coffee maker up here. Okay. I bet Ryan Medina would like that. He is always posting stuff on Instagram about coffee, I swear. <laughs> and then these word count stickers or, uh, you know, little things that you can print out. This would work really well if you were writing, especially if you're like writing something new and you want to keep track of your word count every week. That's kind of why I printed these so that if I wanted to, I could kind of put it at the end of the week and write down my word count where my book is at that week. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I guess I'm just gonna start filling it out now and see how much space I have left over to add more like embellishments and such.
I'm also gonna put another one of these little like live stream printables down on my plan page because I feel like doing live streams helps me a lot. So that's definitely part of my plan is to participate in those. Um, and I might wanna do a couple of my own live streams this month or at least one, we'll see though. We'll see how that goes. Again, if you are somebody that wants to start bullet journaling but you're intimidated by it or scared to mess up, I highly encourage you to just not really care because that's the point I'm at now and it feels really nice just being free to have fun with it and like relax and put different things down. Like I really do love it. this is good for now. I think this is good for now. This turned out to be a super weird spread, but I'm happy with it at the same time. I was totally kind of off of my game today. Usually when I sit down to film these videos, I'm super energetic and I know what I'm doing and I have everything ready to go. But today it's just been a little bit of an off day, but we're just going to quickly flip through this and call it good because I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So here we have my basic month at a glance. We have my three live streams on there as well as some other stuff that I'm gonna be doing. I still have to fill it out with all my pet care. I haven't done that. My plan page turned into more of like a general ideas for how to be successful page. Like do live streams, just keep writing, drink coffee, listen to my soundtrack, write every morning if possible, and then take weekends off if needed. So taking care of myself at the same time. Um, we have my income and finances for the month of July, which, I mean, honestly, my income never makes it all the way to the bottom of the page, so I didn't need a full page for that, as well as a few of the little printables I made, like these three here, and then also some printables from Abiding Kelsey Lee, which are these little ones right here. I highly recommend, I highly recommend you check her out on both YouTube and Patreon. She'll be linked down below. And then we have my first weekly spread, turned out weird, but I like it. Um, I have a live stream on Monday. I still have to go through and fill out all of my like personal stuff that I need to do this week. I feel like doing that off camera is easier for me because I remember more clearly than when I'm sitting here in front of the camera trying to remember what I need to do. Um, and then a to-do list will go here. My habits, vitamins, edit, and exercise because I'm editing for uh, Camp Nano. I have my meal tracker under there, water tracker, general self-care, which is something I've been doing for the last few weeks now, and I really like it. And then under this little door is anything upcoming in the next week. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this page blank because I've been doing a weekly reflections page. So I'll probably leave that for now. These guys will eventually stay where they're supposed to go. They're just up right now. So that's it for this really weird Camp NaNoWriMo plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it. All of these printables slash stickers, if you print them on sticker paper, will be available on my Patreon for free. Um, my other printables are under the $1 tier, but these are just gonna be free to anybody that wants them. So I will be putting these up shortly by the time that this video goes live. Uh, please, if you use them, send me a photo. Tag me on Instagram so I can see what you did with them, because I'm guessing that it'll probably be better than what I did today. All right, everybody. 
that's it for me, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.